All right, now it's time to get into the specs of my new computer versus my old one. So my new computer is running on Mac OS Monterey, Mon Monterey, and this version is from 12.2, and this is version 12.2.1. My old computer is still on Mac OS Mojave, which I could never update my computer because I simply did not have enough storage, so that really sucked. Um, but this one is running on version 10.14.6. This one is the MacBook Pro 13 inch. My new one is the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the Apple M1 Max chip. And my old processor on my old computer was a 2.3 three gigahertz Intel Core i5. So my new computer has a brand new Apple chip, which I am simply in love with. I'm not kidding when I tell you that this computer runs so incredibly well. I can have Premiere open and exporting a video while I am editing my thumbnail in Photoshop. And then I can also have Safari up and running my YouTube studio, which is where I keep track of all of my stats for my YouTube channel. And the fan won't even turn on. With my old computer, if I was exporting a video and that was all I was doing, the fan would be running and my computer it sounded like it was about ready to explode and I felt so bad for it, but anyways. So my old laptop, I only had eight gigabytes of memory. On my new one, I have 32 gigabytes. And on my new computer, I have the built-in Liquid Retina 8 XDR display. And my old one, it was Intel Iris Plus Graphics, 640, 1536 megabytes of graphics. The storage on my old one had 125 gigabytes, roughly, and I had used up most of it. On my new computer, I have one terabyte of storage, which is incredible. I now don't have to plug in my portable hard drive if I want to, honestly, if I want to do anything on my computer, I don't have to have that portable hard drive plugged in. With my old one, I did, and that really limited me with where I could work because I could honestly have a video exporting and have my hard drive plugged in and then get up and leave and have nobody touch it. It wouldn't move at all and it would say that my portable hard drive had been ejected even though nobody had touched it. So that really like limited my ability to move around with my computer and work on it, which is the whole reason that I have a laptop, not a desktop, is because I want to be able to work in different places. Sometimes I edit on the go. If I'm babysitting, I'm editing. So being able to have it be portable is very important for me. And it should be just because it's a laptop. But those are the specs on my new computer versus my old computer. I am still insanely in love with my new one. And in a little while, and in a couple weeks, you might see another video where I compare the two after I've had my new one for longer and I've actually done more with it. I've already been able to make my videos, I hate to say better, but I'm able to insert more clips like screen recordings and stuff and more photos of things without it being like, whoa girl, I simply cannot handle all of this info. I love the bigger screen. If you're on the fence about getting the bigger screen, I highly recommend it. With my old computer, I ordered like the absolute base model. And now with my new one, it's not the top, tippy top of the line. There were some things where I was like, you know, I don't need as much of this. So instead of getting the 64 gigabytes of memory, I got the 32. Actually, they might even have more than that. I'm not totally sure. And then with storage, I think you could go up to four terabytes, which I was like, honestly, if I can just keep a few videos on my desktop and not have to constantly be cleaning off my desktop because my computer can't handle it, that alone would be amazing. And honestly, I am still very, very happy with it. I'm sure after I have this computer for, you know, five years, I'll be like, okay, yep, I'm ready to upgrade my storage. And hopefully at that point, I'm at a place where I can get the absolute top of the line computer. But as of right now, I feel so blessed. I'm so grateful for this computer. It is amazing. It makes editing so much quicker, easier. I'm able to live my life a little bit more because I'm not constantly waiting on my laptop to do stuff. With my old laptop, if I would just want to um, zoom in on a clip and maybe shift it around a little bit, I would do everything necessary to make those movements in the clip. And then 
I could sit there for five seconds and only then would it start moving my clip on my computer. So I got really good at guesstimating where I needed to move things to without actually seeing it happen in real time. That might be confusing, but it makes sense to me. And if you've edited videos, you might also kind of understand it. I hope I explained it though in a way that everybody can. Um, but that is my unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because the more subscribers I have, the more technology I can buy and do unboxing videos of. So if you want to see more of these videos, definitely subscribe. Um, but that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another YouTube video. Bye guys!